Okay, Donald Trump's civil fraud trial getting underway any moment now inside this Manhattan courthouse. The former president, you can see, is on site. He and his entourage arrived several minutes ago. And at the crux of this trial are the allegations that he, his sons, and his family empire committed fraud by manipulating property values to their benefit for years. Here's New York Attorney General Letitia James just moments ago. Donald Trump and the other defendants have con committed persistent and repeated fraud. Last week, we proved that in our motion for summary judgment. Today, uh, we will prove our other claims. My message is simple. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. So Trump in his comments as he continues to talk to the media, there's calling her racist. He is calling this the biggest witch hunt of all time. Let's bring in our guests and analysts to talk more about what we can expect in this trial. NBC's Von Hilliard is outside the courthouse. Also joining us is Assistant Manhattan District Attorney Catherine Christian and criminal defense attorney Danny Savalos. We'll continue to monitor these comments from the former president. But Von, tell us what we can expect to happen in court today in terms of the trial kicking off. We will wait to see whether any actual witnesses are brought to, uh, forward today in this first day of trial. You see Donald Trump standing alongside Alina Haba, who is his legal spokeswoman. You see there on further on his right, Jason Miller, who is his campaign senior advisor. And just out of frame, we saw his lead attorney on this case, Chris Keis, who just a few moments ago met Attorney General Letitia James inside of the courthouse. They briefly exchanged pleasantries and shook hands. Letitia James was joined by other prosecutors within the Attorney General's office. We do not expect her to actually be the one presenting this case day to day. We don't expect Donald Trump to be here day to day. This trial could very well last all the way into December, three months, if it should take that long. There is a long list of witnesses that uh, will potentially come forward here. And we are listening to Donald Trump here right now. But what we have heard so far from Trump is calling this a witch hunt. And uh, this is a man who had the opportunity when he sat for a deposition with the New York Attorney General's office to answer numerous questions and to defend himself from the allegations laid out in this lawsuit. But instead, he pled the fifth, uh, more than 400 times to be precise. And when I actually asked him on Friday, when I was with him on the campaign trail in Los Angeles uh, about one of the alleged uh, overinflation of his assets. He uh, demurred. I asked him specifically about his Trump Tower residency here in Midtown Manhattan, which he overestimated the size would be 30,000 square feet instead of 10,000 square feet. And they placed the value at $327 million, which is three times that of any apartment ever sold in New York history. Take a listen to my attempt to ask him uh, about that specific example. Right Why did you overstate the size of your apartment by 20,000 square feet? You said that your apartment was My valued. financial statement, just for you, by the way. You said it was valued. You know, it's a rigged deal. My financial statements are much lower than the actual net worth. This judge and your fake attorney general of New York, who's driving business out, who's letting murderers run all over the city. They don't do anything to murderers that are running all over the city. The attorney general is a racist, Letitia James. She ought to be a shame of herself. Again, Anna, instead of Donald Trump defending himself and addressing the actual allegations against him, he has repeatedly attacked the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, bringing this case against him, as well as the judge overseeing this case. He has called on both individuals to resign. But while Donald Trump often does the attacking on the campaign trail inside of the courtroom, it's going to be up to his attorney, Chris Keis, to actually defend him uh, against the lawsuit and the allegations listed against him over the course of the next three months.